or a light on when you're trying to go to sleep is more than just distracting. Both can actually affect what has been called the hormone of darkness. This hormone called melatonin is involved in your daily biological cycles, including your sleep cycle and patterns of sleeping and waking. Melatonin is produced by a small pine cone shaped gland deep in the middle of the brain called the pineal gland. When the pineal gland is producing a lot of melatonin and blood levels of the hormone are high, you feel sleepy and your body temperature lowers to prepare for sleep. The pineal gland keeps secreting melatonin based on what your body perceives as the length of night. So blood levels of melatonin are low during the daylight hours and peak during the dark. And this is based on the amount of light hitting the retina of your eye. Light on the retina sends a signal to a part of the brain called the hypothalamus, which coordinates the signals of your biological clock. When light is hitting the back of your eyes, the hypothalamus signals the pineal to stop releasing melatonin. You wake up and your body temperature starts to rise. A dark room helps you to sleep because it increases melatonin production. <music> David Reddish of the University of Minnesota explains dopamine's role like this. Let's say you're at a gumball machine and you want to buy a gumball. So you put in your quarter and due to a freak of gumball machine physics, you get two gumballs. This is when the midbrain releases dopamine. 
Dopamine tells the brain when a reward is especially good, better than expected, and to pay attention to that reward because it might be better than other things in the past for survival. Just to push your luck, you put one more quarter into the gumball machine, and this time you get no gumball. This time the neurons in the midbrain release less dopamine because this reward was worse than expected. It's in this way that dopamine acts as a learning signal to help the brain identify, prioritize, and then anticipate new and unexpected rewards over older predictable rewards. Dopamine is a chemical of pleasure, yes, but it handles one specific piece of pleasure. Dr. Terry Robinson and Dr. Kent Berridge of the University of Michigan believe that dopamine is more about drug wanting than drug liking. It's the first in what will be a series of neurochemicals, a kind of hedonic cascade that will create that larger pleasurable experience.